Uh, and this is what you watch. And um, I have been killing it in the uh, movie and TV show category. Obviously, I said at the beginning of the show uh, how much time I've spent at home with my son. Uh, just in the last week, we have watched all the Fast and Furious. Oh, I'm sorry, the first five Fast and Furious movies and the first five Rocky movies. Uh, but that's not on my list. So that just tells you kind of the, you know, the pace we've been burning through things here at my house. Um, so this could be a TV show, movie, YouTube series whatever you've been watching, whatever you're watching to entertain yourself. So I've got a couple here in the TV realm because this is a sports podcast, the untold series, uh, the untold sports documentaries um, on Netflix. I watched all those last week. Those are all pretty good. Wasn't a big fan of the Manti tail one, but I will recommend one. I did watch the Johnny Manziel one. I'm not a Johnny Manziel fan, but I did like that. There's one called a deal with the devil. And it is about like the first big, well-known female boxer um, and kind of this insane story that she went through. You need to watch that. Take the hour and 20 minutes. Watch Deal with the Devil to get yourself into the untold um, series. And then also in that sports realm, there's another series on Netflix called Bad Sport. They're the ones that did the, uh, the documentary on Tim Donahue. Um, and they've also got ones on like point shaving scandals and soccer and rugby and all these other ones that I had no clue about. Uh, and they were all really, really good. So the untold uh, documentary series, as well as the bad sport in the movie realm, I got two that I've watched this week. Uh, the nice guys. And that is Russell Crowe and Ryan Gosling. Really good movie. Um, just kind of randomly found it on Netflix very good movie. Can't recommend that enough. And then one my wife made me, not made me, we kind of trade off. Uh, movies we're watching. Uh, this movie called Don't Worry Darling. A little bit of a, a thriller, I guess you would call it, kind of a sci-fi thriller. If you've ever seen like The Stepford Wives, uh, it's kind of like that. So um, The Nice Guys and Don't Worry Darling. So those are my two TV series and two movies that I got for you this week. I have three just and they're all YouTube shows because I'm I'm big with YouTube nowadays, especially like at work. Um, with being able to get out of YouTube and then still play, it's kind of nice to be able to watch certain stuff. The one I really watch every single day, I think Boomy does too, the yak. Um, it's on Barstool Sports. You, oh no, 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 it's on the yak YouTube now. Um, yeah. and it is hilarious. It's big cat, Kate, Roan, Sass, um, KB, Nick, Brandon Walker, um, TJ, who am I missing? Stephen Shea. Stephen Shea. Sass. Yep. It, and it's hilarious. It's hilarious. Uh, it's going to be moving to Chicago um, here in the next few weeks. Um, and I'll it's, say it's, it's, hilarious. it's the it's best. There, it's there every day. It's there. It's a, you, it, for noon for us. Um, and it is, it's just something that it, they don't really, they don't talk sports really. They just talk about random stuff and it's hilarious. Cause they're all, they're all hilarious. Yeah. I, I'll say it's the best piece of daily content that Barstool puts out. Mm -hmm. It's very funny. Now with Barstool radio coming back too, that's always fun. Um, if you like, if you like Barstool sports and like the drama that goes on with it, Barstool radio will be for you because it, that's how they bring everything back up with uh Portnoy uh, buying the company back for $1. Yeah, uh, things kind of changed a lot overnight now that they are not with Penn. Uh, is it Penn Entertainment? Penn National. Yeah, Penn National. Um, ESPN is now with them. So if you do have the, the <laughs> Barstool Sports book app, it will eventually be ESPN or whatever, which is going to yep. be weird. Yeah, I'm interested to see how that goes. Well, I mean, anything that DraftKings has ever done on ESPN will be gone. Yeah, because they are now a competitor. Uh, my second show uh, has nothing to do with sports. It's Victory Outdoor Services. It's this. It's YouTube with the guy who pretty much just goes out and does concrete work, and he just goes through the whole thing <laughs> of putting it together, digging it up, and putting it down. And I think it, it's for me, like just sitting there and just watching it randomly. It's kind of like re like relaxing. You're not watching it's, sports. You're not really watching. You're just watching a, a project start to finish. 
I can't even laugh at you that much because I sub or like follow all these like um, lawnmower guys and power washing guys on on TikToks, and it's kind of similar to that. It's like the satisfaction. Part of it is like you mean like you kind of get to know the crew that he has, and like it's it just and they're from they're not far from here. It's up in Wisconsin, um, mm -hmm. and they're entertaining to watch. But also, it's just cool to see like a project start to finish something, especially concrete, which. I don't know if I could do that, but it's it, the finished product is pretty awesome. And like, it's just relaxing. You're not watching sports. You're not watching, like, you're not on like Twitter or Instagram or Facebook. You kind of just sit there and watch some just, it's, it's, it really means it's like kind of nonsense in a way. There's like, you know, you're not like really paying attention to it. Mindless entertainment. Fun to watch. What'd you say the name of the page was again, Zach? Victory Outdoor Services. All right, I'm gonna have to check this out. I'm, I'm in. I'm I will send you a video. I mean, you may not like enjoy it, but for me, it's just kind of relaxing. They're like 45 minute videos, and it shows you like doing their project. They get sometimes they'll get a, a job done in one day, and you'd be like, "That's crazy to think like you never really would think about like how a driveway is made." Because like if you put two idiots like me and you together to put someone's driveway, we would be yeah. out there for three years. Yeah, and they come in like four or five of them in three or four hours can have like it all set up and it's just it's just interesting that's um, a good way to my put last it. one is booming watches it too the mid show chicago yeah. mid show it's on tuesday and thursdays um i think one is live and one is not or maybe they're neither of them are live anymore but uh it's fun especially if you like chicago news they'll talk about sports or they talk about random stuff um especially like i said if you like barstool drama or whatever they talk about that on there too uh, especially with a lot of uh barstool employees being moved to chicago it's going to be more interesting a lot of different guests on there so uh, like i said i'm more on the youtube side now i don't really watch too many series which i, I should get back into but there's just so many yeah you just got to kind of pick one also right? You, right. you you brought the untold one uh, Johnny Manziel, an hour long, which I think is absolutely perfect. Yeah, I think yeah, I watched it yesterday morning. It was too long. You're you're you were a Johnny Manziel guy, so you'll like it. I thought it was okay. Well, I just I just mean like some of these documentaries, three parts, four parts. It's like we can get this all done in one. Oh, hundred percent. Uh, don't disagree with you there, but yeah. Um, I need to get a little bit deeper on my YouTube stuff because I'm right now I'm way more in the, uh, you know, the nice show thing about it, it's free. If you really want to, I mean, you get yep. the premium, but they're all there for free. That is true. You would also uh, you can watch on YouTube. Typical Chicago fans that subscribe to the page. We have a food Go. review coming up where me and Boomy, we put our bodies on the line. <laughs> this is, this is going to be in like, little peek behind the curtain i'm uploading the video to my editing software right now and it is just crashing my computer so um this one may be a little while we've only done half of the review so far uh you guys are really going to want to see this but go yeah. watch our last one um we had it in the hopper for a long time obviously uh april my life got a little different but um we did release one last week on um, our friends at It's a Bodega um, did a Kit Kat box, uh, so that review is out, but we have a huge, probably easily our longest uh, food review will be coming out here in the next couple weeks, and Zach wasn't kidding. I had uh, quite a tummy ache for, <laughs> for quite a while.